Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Hambling Gaming, and today we're going to be looking at one of the best seeds that I've found on the version of 1.15.2 for Minecraft. This is a speedrunning version, okay? This is one of the best seeds that I've found. So see right there, that's a good seed right there. Okay, I'll put this seed in the description so that way you can play with it too. And we're going to go ahead and just look around in it. Okay, I'm going to be playing in the survival, so I can't fly around, so this is going to be... This is how you know it's a good seed, especially for any normal, like, not normal, I mean, for a casual, like, a survival world playthrough. So you're gonna run right over here, and look at that, immediately within spawning distance, you're right next to a village. This is a great spawn, you're sick, you're soaked right into the desert, there's easy way to gather as many six as you need, to all the bushes, and you spawn right next to a village. You got a farming villager here. You got the houses. See, the thing is about desert temples, or not desert, desert temples, desert villages, they're not the craziest, because they don't always have the best loot, but it's still a pretty good spawn either way. Because you're spawned right next to a village, and that's a great thing to be spawning next to the village. You got a good old glass furnace um, house here. You got all the wheat that you could ever need from this hay bales. See, that's the one great thing about the desert villages, is that they give you so much wheat from the hay bales. Pretty much any village, really, but the desert villages especially, because that's their main thing that they have. You have an iron golem spawned in, so you can get free iron. You got another blast furnace. You got all these crops you could ever need. You got more farming villagers. You just got a crafting table. You got as many beds as you could possibly need to sleep through the night. Look at all that loot. There's not too many chests in this village, though. There's also this dude reviving. It's a great thing to always see in the village. Alright guys, quick note before we go over to that area to look around for more stuff. I have broken all the hay bales in this village and there is 41 hay bales. Now let's go over to a crafting table to see how much bread we can make from this. Look at that. We have one, we have almost six stacks of wheat. So you can make almost two stacks of bread from that. That will set you up for food for a while. Look at that. You have an insane amount of food. You have a good villagers here. They have all right trades. You can get a bunch of free stuff. So I'd say this is a pretty good seed spawn. Now, that's not it. There's not just that um, desert village. There's also a lot more around it. So you come over here to the structure there. You can get some free coal and stone. Easy and simple. But back over on the opposite side, there should be another village waiting for you. Oh, another thing I found that's right next to the village is this giant stone platform with a bunch of coal. So that's really good to get a good early start on the uh, on a world that you're in a survival. Plus, there's this little sandy area where you can gather a bunch of stuff. Plus, this little mini cave. It's not much. All it will is just bring you some stone. But still, that's an easy early start in a sand area. So that way you can always go and grab the iron golem as well. You can make stone tools, grab the iron golem with iron, and then boom, now you have iron tools. As well as this other little mini cave area. This is a little run through path. Not much there. Not much in here. It's just basically a cool little area to go through. But still, a nice little area. Back this way, there should be quite a little bit. Plus, look at this giant cave that's back here next to spawn. You have a lot of pole in here. It's not really a giant cave, more or less a giant dip in the ground. I don't know, actually, it is a cave. Yeah, there's a skeleton over there. So this is an actual cave in here. So you can go caving and exploring and flying out and any of the good stuff. Maybe there's even diamonds in there. Now, I'm going back the other way of spawn. So instead of going straight to the desert uh, village over to the left or to the over there... You're going to come over here this way, and there should be some stuff around here. Over here in the grassland area, as you go over to the... Wait, what is that over in the distance? Is that just a mountain? It appears so. But over, instead of going over to the desert village over there, if you turn and go... Which way is it? Um, so instead of going directly like forward to the desert go to the grassland and just wander into the grassland and there will be a pillager outpost right here so you can get some pretty good loot let's see what's in this one 
Plus, at pillager outposts, there's normally always an iron golem that's been captured, so that's even more free iron that you can get. Plus, if you feed the iron golem, he can help you with the pillagers. Yep, there's an iron golem right there. This is going to be a bit of a dangerous mission trying to get through here, because I don't have any tools or anything. But let's see what we can get from the pillager outpost. See, we got a bottle of enchanting, got lots of wood, and we got even more wheat. So we can continue on getting more bread, which is more food supply. See? This is a pretty good spawn. Plus, you can get this cool banner for free. Well, I didn't grab that. So, as you see, there was quite a lot in there. But I'd recommend getting some tools or anything to fight off the pillagers that will be chasing after you for a long time. So, as you can see, they hold many crutches! That is a lot of villagers. Oh, god. Oh, jeez. As you see, make sure that you prepare for a fight. Or at least to run away, is he? Because they will send an army of them. Look at them all over there. Jeez. So, yeah, but if you're gonna go to the villager outpost, make sure you're prepared to either run or fight. Because you're gonna have to do one or the other. So, at spawn, you either go straight to the desert to get the village, and then you can go to the grassland area, just wander off nearby the ocean side, and then you'll get to the pillager outpost. There, you can grab a bunch of good loot. Plus, also, I see caves around here that look like a pretty deep cave. Because there was I, right there. That's where I spawned at, right over there. I ran straight over there to the desert, then you can run back over there to the pillager outpost. Just keep that in mind if you want to go to the places that I'm going to. Plus, there's an Enderman in the daytime? Whoa. That's odd. Is that due to a cave being below? Possibly. Enderman never spawn during the daytime. Not really, it's very rare. So, this is quite a cool thing to see. Oh! Well, it appears that we haven't found a seaside village, but instead something better. A shipwreck. Let's see if there's any loot hiding around in it. Okay, I'm not going to look through it. I'm going to leave it up to you to search the shipwreck if you want. Uh, again, I don't know if you can actually get anything from the grounded shipwrecks. You might be able to. I don't quite know for sure. Over there, you can see the village that we found that spawn. Well, I guess there isn't a seaside village. That's odd, because I remember there being one, but I guess not. Whoa. That's really weird. Look, half of the tree's leaves are cut off. Is this the work of Hero Grin? The crazy Minecraft legend? The one that they has always added? They said every update that they removed it, even though I'm not playing on the latest update version. They said on every update that they removed him, but on the latest update, they had they didn't put that in. Did they add Hero Brian back? It appears so, because look at that. Half of those leaves are cut off. That seems highly suspicious. I'm just kidding. Of course there's no hero, Brian. Just the legend that everyone made. So that way they could spook the people of Minecraft. And the Minecraft community. There's no such thing. Probably. I guess I'd be correct on stating that there is no seaside village. Unless I went the wrong way and there's one actually that I missed. But anyways, yeah. Let's Going back to spawn, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, go ahead and just die so that way I can get back to spawn. So yeah, as you saw, though, we got a lot of wheat and bread from that one village. There's always a lot of stuff like that around. And Pilger Outpost, I got a bottle of enchanting. So that's really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and let the creeper kill me. There we go. Alright, so yeah, here we got spawn. Off over there, and that way, this Pilger Outpost, immediately to the left of spawn, You'll see the, either if it's in nighttime, you'll see the glowing village. If it's in the daytime, you'll again see it because it's a giant building in the desert. And yeah, it's a great spawn, I must say. Definitely, I'd recommend playing the spawn or checking it out if you want to use it in your survival gameplay. Or in your survival playthrough. It's also great for speedrunning if you're doing a, like, a specified seed speedrun. I know those are somewhat popular, not as popular as the uh, random speedrun, but still, works there too. 
And looks like we're getting invaded. Cool. The, the husks are coming on in. Oh, look at this. A chest I missed. And look at that. Two emeralds. Pretty good. Anyways, that's the seed. It's really good. There's also a lot of stuff that's not near spawn that you can find. Heck, maybe even the strongholds below the spawn. You never know. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video and checking it out. I appreciate it a lot, and um, yeah, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye bye